On behalf of Nigeria Apache Flow Meetup Group, I want to welcome you all to Lagos, Nigeria, where we are hosting today's Flow Meetup uh, Summit in person event. So, and I want to actually appreciate the previous speakers for their talks. Um, it was really amazing, and we really appreciate them for keeping us um, here. And it was really a good content. And before I go on, I would like to um, appreciate our sponsor, Azium.co, who supported us for this meetup. So we really appreciate. Please check check them out at Azium.co. Today, I'll be talking about leveraging open source projects for your personal development. My name is Ifrem Anirobi. I'm a committer and PMC member of Apache Flow, and also a software engineer at Astronomer.io. So why leverage, why open source, um, why leverage open source for your personal development and what really is open source? So open source is a platform that you can, is, 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 a, is a project, a software that you can actually see the code, um, use the code, modify it and use it for, or even contribute to making it better, right? It has a very uh, permissive license that makes it a free um, uh, application that you can use to do anything you want to do. Whether you want to um, start a business with it, you can start a business, you can do anything with it, provided you are within the license um, that you have, um, the open source projects have. So it also has a diverse community, meaning that you will see people of different cultures, different experience level in open source, more like they can teach you and you can teach them. Like if, if you are starting out as a programmer, you can see people with more experience that can guide you in open source. And you also have mentorship. Like you can get mentorship through code reviews and you know interacting with people in open source. And as a self-taught programmer myself, I noticed that I had to go through three stages to get to the upscaling, upscaling stage, right? So there are three stages that self-taught programmers go through to really get to upscaling. And the first stage is the learning stage where you have to learn a language or learn a language, get to start using it, you know, start doing exercises with it. And from there you get to the second stage where you, you now have to build stuff. You start building stuff, start building websites, start doing a lot of things. But most people that are self-taught are always, they find it difficult moving out of this stage to this upscaling stage. And the reason is that it's very difficult to start working with people as a self-taught um, programmers. And I'll, I'm going to show you how you can start working with people and start upscaling and getting better with programming. So getting to stay free requires you to work with people. And there are two ways you can work with people. It's either you get a job or you start contributing to open source. And being a self-taught programmer, it will be more difficult for you to get a job, right? It's, it's mostly difficult because you are self-taught, you have not worked with people. And for employers to really trust you, uh, you need to show some works. And most times you, the, what employers need is your working experience. And another way you can work with people is by contributing to open source. Now, when you contribute to open source, you is, you you have you you get that knowledge that you also get when you are working on a job. So, more like 
you have people, a lot of people with different experiences that will now guide you through code reviews and many other ways for you to become a better person. And it's possible that from contributing to open source, you are likely to get a job because of open source also gives reward for your efforts, right? You are also building a, an artifact, right? For that so people can look at and say, yeah, this is what you have been doing. You have been working with people. So um, this of scaling through open source needs a lot of commitment. So you need to really know that you want to upscale, right? You need to uh, have this commitment to yourself and to the project that you really want to improve your skills, your coding skills. And commitment I mean here is not the one that you just make a PR on the open source and nobody sees you again. Like if you get any review, you will not attend to it. You need to really attend to reviews that you get. Anytime you get review, you follow it up, you ask questions and you get going with it. And you also need to be consistent in the sense that you make a PR today, you make tomorrow. If you have anything that you want to, if you go through the issues in the open source that you see that you can actually be able to do, you go into it and start working on it, right? You don't just have to contribute today and in next month, you will not even come around to contribute to the open source. So you really need to contribute. You need that commitment and consistency to really upskill yourself in open source. Um, another thing you can get from open source that will help you to upscale is mentorship. Um, mentorship does not only come from people really teaching you stuff, right? If you are contributing in open source, when you are making PRs or you are asking questions in issues, people will teach you. People will teach you through code reviews, right? But there are opportunities like Outreach, Google Small of Code that you can use to have a, a dedicated um, mentor that will guide you through every step of the way. But that should not, like getting into Outreach, not getting into Outreach or Google Small of Code should not stop you from actually getting mentorship from open source. You get this mentorship through making of PRs. You make PRs, you, you create, you use the project, you just be a user so that you can use the project and see issues on the project, right? Then you contribute and people will mentor you through code reviews, right? Another thing that is very important in open source is that it, you will learn people skill. If when you are working with people with diverse by, backgrounds, there is every possibility that you are going to learn everything um, about personal uh, people skill, like um, written communication, which is very difficult because written communication, uh, you are not there, nobody sees your face. So you need to learn how you can now communicate with people with written communication in a way that they don't feel offended. Right, all those things are things that will help you to upscale. And if you are not working with people, you you cannot get to this stage of learning people's skills. Um, another thing that is important is reviewing PRs. You don't just contribute PR; you can also review PRs. Right, you review PR, people PR, you read it, and try to understand what the person is doing. And that will help you to, to really upscale because you have seen how this person is approaching an issue and can also suggest. And then if your suggestion is bad, the person will also teach you what you can do better, right? Why is using that um, code structure to write that code? So now there are challenges that you are going to actually get to to have in open source when you start off when you start contributing the first thing is imposter syndrome 
And how this works is that you will feel that if you make a PR that people are going to laugh at you because you, you don't have much knowledge about um, the project, right? Or maybe you don't have uh, enough skills to contribute. Um, I, I, I tell you, it's, it's not something that you should think about. It's something that you should actually put aside and contribute, make that PR, right? Make it, let's, let you see people, nobody will, will condemn you. People will only give you advice on how to improve, right? How to write this code better and all that. So you don't let anything stop you from contributing. Don't think that people will laugh at you when you're contributing. That is not possible. So what you get from open source is reviews. People review your code to see how it matches with what you are trying to do and correct you if you are wrong. So another issue that people usually have is feeling low when they have many reviews. Um, maybe you made a PR and people, many people are asking you to change code, change this one to this one, change this one to this one. You become, you start feeling low that you don't know what you're doing. Um, I think this shouldn't be the case. You, you should be proud, like you should be happy that people are actually reviewing your PR. And I, I felt this when I started, but at a point, I started to really ask people to even review. Even if I get um, a, 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 an approval, I'll still think that another person should come and review because there are a lot of things that you may get wrong, but you will not know, and the other person may not even know that you got it wrong. So many reviews helps you, it helps you to improve, right? So it's something that you should be proud of. When people are reviewing your code, you need to just be proud of it. Um, another thing is that you can introduce a bug in code. Now, when you introduce a bug, it's, 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 it's something that you have to learn from. It shouldn't stop you from making your, um, from feeling bad. It, it shouldn't stop you from making PRs. It shouldn't stop you from contributing more. You should be. You should just learn from from the mis the mistake, and from time to time you evaluate yourself and find out where you are actually having problem, and work towards um, solving it. That will actually make you a very good programmer. Thank you. So if you want to reach out to me, you can go to GitHub or Twitter with a friend body. Thank you.